With the circulating tumour DNA study, um, I'm working with colleagues in the Cancer Research UK, uh, Cambridge Institute, Nitz and Rosenfeld's team. And um, coming through our clinical service at Papworth and Adam Rooks Hospital, we have patients who have uh, had surgery for lung cancer or have had uh, radiotherapy for lung cancer. And so what we're doing is taking a cohort of patients, we've taken 100 so far, who have either been treated with um, surgery or radiotherapy for lung cancer. So far, we've recruited about 100 patients um, who have had previous surgical resection or have had chemoradiotherapy for lung cancer with potential curative intent. And what we're doing is um, collecting blood from these patients pre-treatment and at their various time points after their treatment. And what we're going to be looking for is to see if we can see a change in the circulating DNA signature um, during and after treatment. So you can imagine before treatment, you would have a high circulating tumor DNA level. And then when you remove the lung cancer or treat it, it might dip right down. And hopefully if the patient is then disease free, the level stays low. Uh, however, if the tumor starts to come back again, you might see the, the level starting to rise. So we're looking at one of the questions, can we use this to predict uh, possibly before we see changes on CT scans or before the patient develops symptoms of evidence of, of early recurrent disease. Um, and again, as I was saying for the early other biomarker work, again, depending on the sensitivity of these uh, techniques, again, can we use it in the early diagnosis setting? Um, can we, you know, uh, take blood samples from patients who are coming in, having scans, having a nodule found, again, to see if we can... Um, uh, increase uh, the probability of whether a lesion is malignant or not. Essentially what we're doing in this study is we are uh, taking the uh, original tumour and profiling it and then for on, on an individual patient basis then looking at that signature and seeing if we can detect that signature in their blood uh, downstream.